Sometimes when we're feeling tension or tightness in the hips, it could be an indication that there is an emotion or experience we've been harboring. Usually one that has caused discomfort or a big challenge within us. So moving the body and connecting to the breath can really help to work through these challenges, these repressed emotions. We can move through the tension of the physical body and begin a process of releasing any stress or anxiety. I'm B. Sherlock and I'm so grateful that you're here allowing me to guide you through this flow. Please hit the like button if you're finding value in this video. And when you get to the end of the flow, if you've enjoyed the experience, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you can catch all my uploads. Breathe through any discomfort and remind yourself that everything is temporary. Let's meet on the mat. Let's begin in easy seat. We're just going to connect the breath to the body. So you can bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest, close down the eyes, ground the sit bones into the earth, really elongate through the spine as you lift up through the crown. And take the breath on the inhale to the base of the spine and just allow the breath to fill the torso like water filling a glass. So we fill the pelvic bowl we feel the belly, the breath trickles into the heart space and opens up through the collarbone, really helping to elongate a little further. And the exhale is guided by a gentle pelvic contraction as the low abdominals draw toward the spine. Maybe you notice a softening in the body on the exhale. Just really pay attention here to how the body is responding to the slowing down of the breath. Just take one more full inhale. Guided exhale. Bow the head. Just remain in this space just for a moment longer. Appreciate the stillness. Gently flutter the eyelids open as you inhale. Sweep the arms up and overhead. As we exhale, rotate the torso to the right and just rest the left hand on the right knee and the right fingertips can come to the mat behind you. Inhale, lifting up through the spine, really find that elongation. Exhale, maybe you're able to twist a little deeper into the twist. Gaze can be out to the side, or if you're in a slightly more open body, or if your neck allows, maybe you can attempt to gaze over the back shoulder, but there's no need to strain here. It's not a requirement to look over the back shoulder in this pose. Breathing in, we create space. Breathing out, we deepen a little further into the twist. Inhale, unravel from the twist, come back to center, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, rotate to the left, right hand to the left knee, and the left fingertips rest on the mat behind you. We're lifting up through the crown, so we're really elongating and finding space through each vertebrae as we reach up through the crown. And the exhale is guided by that gentle pelvic contraction as we rotate a little deeper into the twist. Mm. Inhale now, unravel from the twist. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat in front of you. We're going to come into a cradle uh, of the knee. You can rest the left knee on the, on the mat. We're going to bend into that right knee, grasp hold of the sole of the foot. Now, if this is as far as you can get, that's great. Maybe you're even just grasping behind the thigh. That's good as well. If you can rotate the knee, or the hip, I should say, rotate the hip, so that you're bringing the shin closer to the chest. We're just opening up through the hip. So you can cradle that leg 
almost like you're cradling a baby. And maybe you rock from side to side. Maybe you're rocking in a slight twist of the torso, but just make sure those both sit bones are grounded. Always maintaining the integrity of our spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, maybe you draw that leg a little closer towards the chest. Beautiful. Release the knee. Bend into the right knee and just bring the sole of the foot to the, um, the left glute. Bend and bring the left knee towards the chest. Draw the shin toward the chest and cradle that leg. Grounding down through the sit bones. You can pop the sole of the foot in the crook of the elbow. Inhale, we lift up through the spine. Exhale, maybe we rotate from side to side. I'm just really feeling a nice opening through that left hip. Hmm. We're not here for long. Come back to center, find stillness just for a moment. Release the knee. Roll over the legs, come to find our, our tabletop position. So shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. As we inhale, we drop the belly. We're gonna lift the tail by taking the breath to the tail. Lift the chest, lift the chin, coming into our cow pose. Exhale, rounding and arching the spine, drawing the tail toward the earth. As we round into cat, chin comes to chest. Follow the cadence of your own breath now as you inhale and lower the belly. Exhale, arch and round into cat. Three more times at your own pace. It's really letting go of any direction here. Just move to where the body feels good. I'm just waking up the spine, finding a little mobility through each vertebrae. Good, we'll come to meet in a neutral tabletop position now. Spread the fingertips wide. Tuck the toes, push into the palms, send the tail up and back, come to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Press into the fingertips to give you a little bit of grip and protect those um, and protect the wrists. Internally rotate the elbows, so we're opening up through the chest. Send the tail up and back, so you're finding a really nice long spine. Gaze this toward the back of the mat. Micro bend in the knees and we're drawing the heels toward the earth. They don't need to touch. That's just the direction you're drawing them to. On the inhale, wave the body forward. Find your plank, so the top of a push-up. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw the elbows to the side body. You can lower down chaturanga or draw the knees to the mat, chest and then the chin. Breathe in, push through the palms, come to the tops of the feet, upward facing dog. Breathe out, tuck the toes, send the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, gazes to the top of the mat. As you step the feet between the hands, find a flat back, hands to shins, Ara Uttanasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana, allow the head and neck to hang. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Urdhva Hastasana, thumbs point back, shoulders melt down the back. Gently draw the tail toward the earth. So we're tilting the pelvis. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Breathe in, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Breathe out, hinge at the hips. Follow the breath along the spine as the head and neck hang. We fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, find a flat back. Nice long spine from crown through to the tail. Exhale, frame the feet, step the right foot back. Build your foundation, stack the back heel over the toes. Engage that back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Rise into crescent, nice and strong. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back into plank, whole body activation as you lower down chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. 
Push through the palms, upward facing dog, shoulder blades melt down the back, thighs are away from the mat. Exhale, send the tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, send the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to the chest. As we wave the body forward, step the foot between the hands, lower the back knee. Sweep the arms forward, rise into low lunge. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, lift up through the crown. Exhale, tuck that tail toward the earth. Breathing in, we lift and find space. There's a mini back bend here. Breathing out, leaning into the hips. So instead of activating the muscles here, we're finding a nice stretch through the front hip flexor. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Navel draws to spine. Maybe we sink a little deeper with our hips. Beautiful. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step forward. Hands to shins, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Lower the hands, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Breathing out, folding forward, Uttanasana. Breathing in, hands to shins, find a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Breathing out, you can frame the front foot. Or you can, with control, step the left foot back, come into your lunge, stack the back heel over the toes, engage the back leg. Breathing in, sweep the arms forward, rise into crescent, maintain your balance here with muscular activation, navel draws to the spine. Exhale, frame the front foot, step back into plank, whole body activation, take an inhale, as you exhale, lower down, chaturanga, push through the palms, upward facing dog, thighs are away from the mat, exhale, send the tail to the sky, Ardha Mukha Svanasana, inhale, raise that left leg to the sky, three legged down dog, exhale, bring the knee to the chest, step the foot between the hands, lower that back knee, inhale, Sweep the arms forward, frame the face, rise into low lunge. You can untuck the back toes or you can keep them tucked, just depending on where your body is. We want to make sure that the knee is over the heel. Inhale, lift up through the spine, spread the fingertips wide to remind you that you're here with purpose. Exhale, the shoulder blades melt down the back. Navel draws to spine. Breathing in, we lift and we create space. Breathing out, we sink a little deeper into the hip, finding that nice stretch through the front hip flexor. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step forward. Hands to shins, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center, Samastiti. Lower the hands, breathe in, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Breathing out, hinging at the hips, folding forward, find that forward fold. Inhale here, clasp the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, making a fist with the hands. Reach the hands to the ceiling and allow them to fall towards the mat. Head and neck and hang. So we're finding a nice stretch through the shoulders. Opening up through the chest, through the collarbone. Gently release. Bend into the knees, sweep the arms out. Little mini 
Utkatasana chair pose here. Slowly lower. And bring the buttocks to the mat. Good. Draw the, draw the right knee to a right angle in front. So the knee, um, and f the knee is at a right angle. And just flex the right foot. We're going to do the same with the left leg. So take the left knee out towards the left side of the mat. 90 degree angle for the shin. And the left foot is facing towards the back of the mat. So there's a 90 degree angle there too. Trying to ground down the sit bones. As we inhale, we're going to lift up through the spine. You might be here and that's perfectly fine. We're opening up through that left groin. Take a deep inhale, lift up through the crown. As we exhale, hinge at that front hip crease, lean forward, maybe rest the hands on the mat in front. Inhale, lift, exhale, you fold a little deeper. And we're just going to where our body allows. So you might be in a slightly tighter body and that's okay. Maybe you have a limited range with your hip mobility and that is perfectly normal. So as we inhale, we're just going to reach up through the spine, exhale, hinge at the hips and we just lean to where our body allows, maintaining the integrity of this spine. Maybe you're able to come down to the elbows. So we're almost, it's almost like a pigeon pose, but really inviting that left hip to open a little more, almost a bit of a nice variation to frog pose because I know frog pose can be a little bit challenging. Inhale, find and create space within the body. Exhale, allow the body to soften. Maybe you're softening a little further into that right glute, the right hip flexor. Let's breathe through any discomfort here and remember that it's everything is temporary. Breathing in, lift the torso, coming back to center, we're gonna swap the legs over. So bring the left leg to a 90 degree angle in front. Rest the right knee out towards the right side of the mat at a 90 degree angle. The right foot is pointing to the back of the mat. The left foot is pointing to the right side of the mat. Grounding down through the sit bones. Inhale, lift and create space. Exhale, gently walk the hands forward as you fold at that hip crease. Breathe in and lengthen, create space. Breathe out. Maybe you're able to bring the hands or the elbows towards the earth. Perhaps you close down the eyes here as we begin to slow down. And as we breathe in, recognize where the breath takes any sensation from the body. Maybe you're feeling an opening through the right groin. Maybe you're feeling a nice stretching or lengthening sensation of the left glute. Just pay attention to where the sensations arise within the body when we're in this pose. We're here for a few more breaths. We're, we're remembering our, that famous quote from Buddha, nothing is permanent everything is temporary so whatever arises here for you when we work through it we can remember and give ourselves a sense of security in remembering that nothing that we feel or experience is going to be forever nothing is permanent we can work through any pain or trauma and understand that that pain and trauma is only going to be temporary Breathing in, slowly rise, come back to center. Swing that right leg around. Brings both of the soles of the feet to the mat. Sweep the arms out in front. Engage the core, lift up through the spine and we're just gonna slowly lower the back to the mat. Just a little bit of activation here. Maybe you're hearing some pops and some clicks. 
Press into the soles of the feet, lift the hips a little bit, just shift them over to the right and extend the left leg out long. And draw the right knee across the body with the left hand. Sweep the right arm out to the side and send your gaze over to the right hand. And just really breathe into this twist here. You'll feel a nice stretch and opening through the right side of the body. Maybe you close down the eyes. Notice as the breath creates space. And the exhale softens the body, allows it to surrender into the earth. As we breathe into any tight twists, any tight hip muscles, give it the space that it desires. Slowly unwind from the twist. Soles of the feet meet the mat. Push into the feet, lift the hips, shift them over to the left. Send the right leg out long. And draw the left knee across the body with the right hand. Left arm out to the side. Gaze is over to that left hand. Inhale. Create that space within the body. Recognizing the space that is created here. Notice any tight internal processes that might arise for you. We can recognize the breath's ability here to soften and release any tension caused by those tight internal processes. Allow the body to soften and surrender. Unravel from the twist. S square off the hips, extend the legs out long. Draw the arms beside the body, palms facing up. Just allow the feet to fall to the sides of the mat, really relaxed here. Gently tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest. Draw the chin away from the chest, encouraging the natural curve of the spine. Relax all the muscles in the face, releasing any tension in the jaw. Letting go of any furrow in the brow. Just allow the body to soften into the earth and feel supported. Breathing in goodness. And when we breathe out, we release and we let go of that which no longer serves us. So you might notice the body softening a little deeper on each exhale. Give yourself permission here to release and let go. awareness back to your breath just notice the cooling inhale through the nasal passage the calming exhale through the nasal passage recognize its natural rhythm similar to 
that of the flowing waves of the ocean's tide. Begin to find movement now in the fingers and the toes. Allow the head and neck to rock from side to side. Take a deep inhale and send the arms overhead. Reach through the fingertips and really pull through the toes so we're finding a nice long body. Rolling over to your most comfortable side. Just rest the head on the tricep as a pillow. Just take a brief moment to observe. Press into the palm of your free hand. Rise to a comfortable seat. Eyes can remain closed. As we bring the practice to a close, just remind yourself as you move off the mat into your everyday lives that the experiences we endure are only temporary. We can remind ourselves in the moment that nothing is permanent. We can always bring ourselves back to centre by using the breath if we don't have the space to move. Breathe in, sweep the arms out and up and draw the palms to meet. Exhale, hands come to heart centre. The light in me sees and honours the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for letting me guide you through the flow today. Thank yourselves for coming to the mat to practice your yoga. Reminding ourselves in the moment that nothing is permanent can really help us diffuse any sense of anxiety uh, and it can help us cope with any stress that we may be perceiving. Keep making magic in this world from your space at your own pace. Namaste.